What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so I want to talk about something in this video <laughs> that I think isn't being talked about enough. Now, let me be perfectly clear about something. I'm not talking about every male who chooses to support Kamala Harris. I'm not talking about every guy. There are some who are uh, longtime Democratic voters who want to vote for her. They feel like she's the candidate that they prefer. Okay? That's their prerogative. Um, and it's about issues or it's about, um, you know, as far as I'm voting for her, it could be, you know, more of an anti-Trump thing, anti-GOP. Uh, it could be that they particularly like Harris as far as her being a politician, whatever the case may be. But I can't, I don't think it can be denied that there are some men who I think when it comes to supporting Kamala Harris, they're thinking with the wrong head here. I don't understand for life of me. I get to a certain extent the herd mentality. Uh, this is a woman who for three years of her vice presidency had approval ratings in the low 20s to I mean, upper 20s to low 20, low 30s, excuse me. She was even more unpopular than Joe Biden. Magically, she has become, over the past three weeks, the female version, according to the media, of Barack Obama. Now, some of this is media made up bullshit or made, made up media malarkey, okay? Uh... The excitement is far exaggerated. Trying to compare it to Obama away is nothing like that. Okay. Um, yeah, there's some mobilization when it comes to some younger people. There's uh, some mob mobilization when it comes to women, absolutely. But this far reaching across the 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 you know horizon, across the great uh stretch of this country, some great massive democratic mobilization effort uh i think that's overstated right but some of these dudes who are in for kamala harris i think to be honest with you they're smitten by her it's not even about policy it's not about you know any particular uh grievances they have for the Republican Party, although they may say that's the reason. They don't want anything. They just like her because they want to screw her, okay? I was going to say the F word, but I'm not going to use it. They do. I know some of these dudes. Some of these dudes who were like, yeah, when it came to Joe Biden, now all of a sudden, when you see Kamala Harris, they 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 become they want to they're supporters. They have huge supporters of her, and it can't be because you think that she's the next FDR or Bill Clinton or Barack Obama. She's not what I would call the most brilliant politician. You know, I still think that she's something of an airhead, airhead. And when I say airhead, I don't mean like she's a stupid person. She's not. She's she's capable. She's she's smart. Um, but I just don't think she's uh what I would I don't think she has a high political IQ. Okay? I don't think she has a very high political IQ. Um, that doesn't mean that she's stupid, but I just don't think that when it comes to policy, when it comes to doing her homework on foreign policy when it comes to 
doing her homework on things outside of her niche areas. I don't think she's very good at that. I do think, however, because she's an attractive person, uh, because for some whatever reason people gravitate toward her, let's be honest, oh, 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 and because she's do she she gets donors to donate. That's the thing. If you can get people to donate to the Democratic Party, if you're a, like a if you're a money magnet for the deep for the Democratic Party, you're going to hold a lot of sway, and they're going to cook the polls. They're going to do whatever they can to create this impression that she's this tsunami, this wave that we have to ride. Pardon the pun. And you know. You're missing out if you don't get on this train, if you don't get on this ride, you know. Um, let's be honest. Looks matter when it comes to life. It is. It, it, it looks. Looks matter. It matters in politics. It matters in your personal life. It matters with relationships, obviously. It matters. Looks matter. And I'm tired of this Younger generation trying to augment that. Oh, fat awareness. Oh, um, ugly people are beautiful too. Look, man, at the end of the day, it matters. If you are a beautiful woman, doors are going to swing open for you that are not going to swing open for a woman who, unfortunately, was not blessed with great looks. It's unfair. It can be maddening. It can really piss you the hell off, but it's un that's life. Life is not fair. And I think sometimes the younger generation and my generation too, forget that. They think everything's supposed to be fair. Bullshit. That's not how it works. If you're not blessed with looks, you're going to have to study and do everything far better than the next person. Because look, for the most part, beauty fades. Eventually, but you hold on to your intelligence and intellect a lot longer. So it evens out if you live long enough. Relationships, looks matter. Okay. And even if you're not necessarily a conventional beauty, you can still do things to augment that. Lose some fucking weight. You know, do certain things to make yourself more appealing. You know, I'm trying to get I'm, I'm getting away from my point, but the point is looks matter. We saw that with Kennedy Nixon. OK. Kennedy was seen as this bronze Adonis when he showed up at that first debate. Kennedy not, uh, you know, Kennedy understanding the importance of television. Uh, allowed the people, the television people who knew how television could be unflattering. He allowed them to put on uh, makeup. Nixon, trying to be macho, didn't want to do it. Now, at the time, Nixon had been sick. I think he was in North Carolina at an event, banged his knee, and I think getting into a car or whatever, or trying to get into a car, he hit his knee, knee got infected was hospitalized, um, lost a lot of weight, had an infection to the point we had to take antibiotics to the point where I think they were even saying there was a risk of gangrene setting in his knee or whatever. Anyway, the point may be the guy lost like 15 pounds, looked like shit, um, sweaty, uh, frowning. He just looked terrible. And some people believe as close to that election was that – Caused a lot of harm in the election. Going into that debate, Nixon had a lead. Afterward, Kennedy had to lead. So, to a small extent, looks does matter. Look, one of the things about Hillary Clinton, who many people thought was going to be the first woman president, she was older. She was like 68. Now, Kamala's 59, but she looks 10 years younger. Okay? So Hillary was older. Hillary was unlikable. Hillary was robotic. Um, you know, she just wasn't a really good stump speaker. Kamala's not necessarily a great 
orator, but she's better than Hillary Clinton. She sounds better. And like I said before, she's not bad looking. But to me, you got to be more than just good looking for you to get the vote for you. But some dudes, they think with their, you know, like I said, their little head, man. They think, they think in, they look at her through a prism of sexuality. Same thing that happens like when it comes to women who do the unthinkable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I say the unthinkable, let's talk about the woman who her name slips my Amber Geiger. Remember Amber Geiger shot and killed that black dude? Went his house, shot him, killed this black dude. Now, with that police officer, with any dude who does something like that, people, we will want blood. But for some reason, Amber Geiger was getting hugs. Amber Geiger was getting all this sympathy. The, the, the brother of the dude she shot wanted to hug this woman. It was the most unbelievable. It won't just, it wasn't just self-hatred. It wasn't just Stockholm Syndrome. That's the power of the pussy. I'm sorry. It is. I still think that dude wanted to just get a feel on her. He didn't get, I mean, it, it, unbelievable. Unbelievable. How many of these women are going around having inappropriate relationships with children? Diddlers, right? And the courts, these, these judges look them up and down and, oh, well, you know, she's just lonely, you know, probably didn't have a man in her life. You know, we'll forgive her. Had that been a six foot five, three hundred pound black dude, they would have built a special, a special cage under the prison for him. So society, this society, has always been sort of um, forgiving and, and put women like that on the pedestal, especially if you're attractive. So yeah, Kamala, and it's already you already see this. Trump reportedly called Kamala the B word in private. And my response to that was, who gives a shit? What does that have to do with anything? So so that's the issue because somebody behind closed doors calls someone a B? That's an issue. I mean, at the end of the day, how many times have we all said that Hillary was a B? Did, did, did that mean it? I mean, did that make news? Uh, and, and to be fair, yeah, it's it's messed up that he says that, but how many times have people publicly called Trump Hitler? I shouldn't have said that. Chicken Gruber. So it's like, at the end of the day, bro, like, no, nah, we can't, but they can't put her on this magical pedestal where, you, you know, like politics isn't a dirty game and we can't say nothing bad about her and, you know, we got to just, man, eh, get out of here. So, yeah, there's a lot of dudes out there, lonely dudes who, you know what I'm saying, they look at her, they look at the eyes, look at the smile, and they get Google gaga and just going to vote for her because, not because they're going to get something out of it, but it's just, they just like her, you know. They like her and shit, you know. I guess they'd rather have her than the flatulent, you know, semi-obese, sweating, uh, orange man that's trying to get back in there. <laughs> you know, but I will say this to end this video, though. This election is not over. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris could still very well lose this election. Um, don't buy these polls. There are different factors in play. Keep in mind that Biden... Although he's not running, Biden is still not a very popular incumbent. There's still the perception that the economy is not great. Um, the Republicans, even though it was subdued, the Republicans still didn't make some gains in 2022. 
Um, although, you know, Trump personally did not have much success with any of the candidates that uh, actually got elected with the exception of J.D. Vance, who ironically, or coincidentally, I should say, not ironically, is his VP nominee and a weird one at that. But, you know, um, yeah, so this election is nowhere. But, yeah, bro, at the end of the day, I think that that will play a factor. If she does win, it's definitely going to be because she's starting to get a lot of these dudes who never really been interested in the electoral process that just want to vote for her because they think she's pretty. And to me, that's a very sad way. That's a sad reason to vote. I remember when, when Bill Clinton ran in 1992. We had a project in school. And we all had to give a reason why we supported each particular candidate, right? And I remember one of my classmates who was a girl pretty much said that she was voting for Bill Clinton. Now, you know, it was a mock election. We really couldn't vote. But she said the reason why she was supporting Bill Clinton because she thought he was sexy. And at that time, we was 12, 13 years old, so, you know, girls are just starting to discover, you know. But she said, I'm voting for Bill Clinton because I think he's sexy. I'm like, even that day, I'm like, that's a reason to vote for somebody? Really? But looks do matter, though. It does. It matters. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.